God's chosen Bantu people and the creation of mass media in the Bible. So mass media is mass communication, whether it's written, broadcast, or spoken. This encompasses TV, radio, ads, movies, and newspaper. So this is all encompassed in the Bible. And the story of the creation is linked to the Bantu people. People of God is a term that's always used in the Bible. The name people literally translates to Bantu. So Bantu means people in many Bantu languages. But what makes the Bantu people so peculiar is the fact that they themselves traveled from one place to another. So God has been trying to connect to his people, but they seem to be drunk, arrogant, and stiff-necked. Isaiah said, Ox knows its owner, and the donkey knows its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not consider. So it's up to us to start considering. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will heal their land. Meaning, if my Bantu people, because Bantu means people. So the attributes of these people, I've seen these people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Aaron said, let not the anger of my Lord wax hot. You know the people, that they are set on mischief. My people perish from a lack of knowledge. So this is also the mercy of God which speaks in truth to set the people free. So the people is the Bantu and the Bantu is the Vanu. So to understand the Bible, it has to be done through his people because through this, we're going to understand what is sacred to him. For example, the word kosher is translated by the people as kosha, which is something that is sacred. Kosha kwechinu is the kosher of anything, which is how God intended people to to first sanctify the animals before they were to do anything because everything had to be purified and everything had to be sanctified. So God made a contract with his Bantu. So now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, and you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which he spoke unto the children of Israel. So the key word here is covenant. The covenant of God was made, and this covenant was made with his people or with his Bantu. But the problem is that the Bantu have forgotten, right? So the Bantu forgot, and God said, because you have not served the Lord your God with joyfulness, with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall you serve your enemies, which the Lord shall send against you in hunger, in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. And God says, my people do not consider. So consider this fact and consider these words. But the people have forgotten. But it is because they forgot that this happened. So now it's time for us to remember who we are. So the contract gave us wealth, or it still gives us wealth because it still exists. It says, but you shall remember, okay, this video, this is for people to remember, right? But you shall remember the Lord your God. So us remembering God is us reestablishing our wealth, health, and well-being. But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto your fathers, as it is this day. So today you can enact this covenant. Today you can take the power to gain wealth. All right, because wealth is also linked to health. So this comes within the package of what we can receive. From the word of God. So this is for the people. For the Bantu. This is literally 
what it uh, means or this is what it literally boils down to. So when you look or you consider the Bantu people, there's a certain term that is used academically known as the Bantu migration. And in different cultures, all the Bantu people say that they're not from there. When you look at the Bantu migration, you realize that the Bantu people came in different waves and settled in different areas of uh, Africa. This is the consideration and this is the science and this is the truth and this is the reason. It's because we had a contract with God and the contract has been forgotten. But you shall remember the Lord your God for it is he that gives the power to get wealth. So the contract that we must remember makes us Jews of El. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you like this, I hope that you could also get the book Hustle and Motivate, which brings all of these things together. Because it's the one place where everything is just revealed in an interactive way so that you can play and read at the same time. It should take you under an hour to finish it. And you can get the book for a dollar or more, whatever you want. So you have no excuse to not get it. And you have no excuse to not know yourself anymore because you can get that information right now in the link below.